rescuing rescue that took place in the middle of last week's snowstorm, a Camas plow driver jumped into action to bring a COVID patient to the hospital. We go now to our Wayne Haverly, who was able to speak with the driver and the victim's family. Wayne joins us live from Camas tonight. Incredible details here, Wayne. Yeah, the timing of all this for the COVID patient, it really couldn't have been worse because this happened eight days ago when the storm was at its peak and uh, the snow was so bad that Camas firefighters, they couldn't get up to this patient who was in desperate need of help. The historic winter storm dumped more than a foot of snow on Camas neighborhoods, even more in the hills. And on Monday the 15th, this deep snow created a life and death situation. Firefighters couldn't reach a very sick COVID patient who was trapped with his wife up a long driveway in their hilltop home. I'll remember for the rest of my life. Camas plow truck operator Scott Perkypile got the call. I got a call from my coworker who was in the other plow truck. He was getting all the 911 calls. And he called me and said, hey, we got a response from the fire department to assist them to an area they couldn't get to. So, hey, that's what we live for, you know, the way we grow. And roll he did up one of the longest and steepest driveways in the city of Camas. But for the first time in his 26 year career, he got stuck. And lo and behold, I kind of got sucked into a hole and got stuck. And so I said, heck with it, jumped out and then started jogging up the hill there and got up to the house and made contact with them. And he needed to go to the hospital. 52 year old John Russell was delirious and couldn't walk. So his wife, Michelle, remembered an old toboggan in the snowed in barn. She said she had a sled out in the barn and, and she said to check on the sheep when we were there. <laughs> so we did, <laughs> had a bunch of baby sheep. So we, we tackled that out of there and uh, got him all strapped in and away we rolled. Guys, be careful. Well, they actually slid on snow, which was also covered with ice that morning. The city road crew took the patient on a 500 yard journey to the waiting ambulance at the bottom of the hill. After eight days in the hospital and several touch and go days in the ICU, Russell just left the hospital a short time ago, and here he is tonight, embracing his wife and celebrating life. Yeah, great moments, and I just heard from uh, John and Michelle a short time ago, he just got home. He's still very, very weak, but he's doing much better, and they say they are forever grateful to Scott and everybody in the city of Camas who did so much to make that rescue happen. Back to you.